That's uh, the last school closed in 1996. But it's important to know, Alex, that the, there's more children now in white foster care homes than were ever in residential schools. The breakup, the deliberate breakup of Native families, is continuing. This genocide is carrying on. And, and now they've moved, as Russell Means has said here, and others. Welcome to the reservation. Hitler said he took his plans from the reservations in the U.S. Uh, the British had, uh, admittedly used that in other parts of the world as well. And now they're doing it to everybody. Black, white, they don't care. This is a total assault on the family, on humanity, on everybody. Uh, China has this model. My God, this is so cold-blooded. Well, that's right, Alex. And, and I see proof of it every day, working with Native people on the streets of Vancouver and every Canadian city. Uh, there's, uh, Native people are continually targeted by the police. There's over 500 missing Aboriginal women that are never accounted for. We know that the uh, serial killer in Vancouver uh, uh, Dave Picton, who's now in jail, was actually working with members of the RCMP. We have our uh, eyewitnesses who saw police bringing women out to the, the, the farm where he was making snuff films and killing these women. We've identified grave sites of these women around Vancouver. The media and police will not go there and touch it. So basically, with the vampires, and, and psychologically they are vampires, that's what these psychopaths are in history, that's where the legends come from, with these vampires, natives are fair game, they're seen as the food, but now they're running out of them, they're moving on to everybody else. I'd say that's accurate. You know, the, uh, the, the, the child trafficking that goes on, and here's another uh, thing we're beginning to look at, through the baby adoption racket, uh, the Catholic Church is heavily involved in baby trafficking through their maternity homes where they force, nat uh, especially Native women, but many, any white girl this can happen to, too, they're, they're criminalized. If you, ha if you get pregnant uh, uh, and you're not married, you're convinced by these uh, Catholic priests and others to sign away your baby. It's called the BFA protocol, Baby for Adoption Protocol. They force the mother to sign away their child in utero uh, while they're still pregnant, and they never see that child again, and, and who knows what happens to these babies. So it's a big racket, and it's the same way that the Catholic Church in Spain uh, stole 600,000 children. Uh, during the Franco uh, regime, and these children, their parents were told that they died, and they they trafficked them out. So Hitler did the same thing. Look, yeah. look there's no doubt this is history, uh, and and all I can say is you need to obviously be careful because you're into some very, very serious waters here. And uh, you know we've we've had several websites up on screen. Uh, we uh, have uh, if you put that particular site up uh, uh, beneath him. Uh, uh, we have one that's in uh, itcs.org. Is that a good one to go to? That's our tribunal website, and that's got all the recent updates, so people should definitely go to that one. Okay. Uh, you've got the final comment uh, in uh, 60 seconds or so for any other points you'd like to uh, make, uh, Kevin Annette. Thank you, Alex. Uh, basically, the tribunal that we're conducting is operating in the United States, Canada, Ireland, uh, England, right around the world. We need people who have eyewitness testimonies of how these crimes are ongoing, including what happened to Native kids, but also white children. Any of those crimes we need reported and documented, so please contact us, hiddenfromhistory1 at gmail.com. I'm on a U.S. speaking tour all for the next few months, starting in Syracuse, uh, New York, and anywhere people want me to come and help document this, please contact me. It's about the present livelihood of our children and our very lives and liberties, so please be in touch with us. Well, from the ancient Romans to the Aztecs, every corrupt, dominant culture wants to take away the right of children from parents and break up families. I mean, you know, Caesar would go in and kill all the parents and keep the kids. Now they just take your kids away and get, you know, give you a bottle of Prozac. Uh, amazing information. So people want to get in touch with you or contact you around the United States. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's good to see you investigating, and I look forward to getting updates from you in the next few weeks, the next few months as this unfolds. You sure will. Thank you, Alex. Thank you so much, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's hard to you know, look at this type of stuff. It's painful. It's scary for those of us that aren't on the dark side. Good people have a, have a major blind spot. We just can't imagine this is happening. But history shows the stuff that Kevin just talked about is unfortunately the tip of the iceberg. And we have a super class of predators, sadomasochistic scum, uh, that, that are running our society. And as bad as the stuff you heard, I mean, from what I've researched, a lot of the stuff gets even crazier. That's why it's important that we stand up against these people. I'm not just going to fight tyranny at 10% or 20% or 50%. I'm going to go 100%. And that's why we've launched the nightly news here. 
for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers and everybody else who sees this in the hundreds of thousands and millions across the web. That's why we have the syndicated radio show. That's why we have the news websites, InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv.